G'day William, Braden from Pacific Toyota. Thank you so much again for your inquiry on our beautiful 2022 Mazda CX-5, the uh, Max Sport sitting here in front of me for only $29,990 drive away. Uh, currently one of the cheapest in all of Queensland as it sits with only a touch over 51,000 kilometers on the clock. Uh, that $29,990 of course, as mentioned, is obviously drive away, it's your stamps, your transfers, everything all included. Um, I understand you're down in the sunny coast area, don't let that stress you at all. Uh, we're lucky enough to be the largest used car yard for Toyota on the whole eastern side of Australia. So mate, we literally turn over a bit over 250 cars every single month. Um, as you can see, we've got, obviously got our, all our Toyota Lexus showrooms up the hill there, and all our service departments just over the road. And uh, yeah, this is one of our sort of bigger of the two yards at the moment. So this is 235 Mulgrave Road. We've got another yard up at uh, 77 Mulgrave Road. And we're opening a third one up at uh, just across the road from that too. So because we about 300 cars at the moment we got nowhere to put them so uh, mate we are absolutely jam-packed like i said the freight side of things is a piece of cake can have it down there in a couple of days uh, for only 550 bucks as well so piece of cake on that side of things too and uh, of course if you're looking for the finance side of things as well we can help with that as well now obviously because we, of the turnover we do have and the cars we sell sight unseen mate we don't touch anything that's been in accidents flood damage hail damage or anything like that you get all the paperwork to prove it so the whole idea of this video, I just want to go through as much detail as I can, highlight any uh, little marks or imperfections I can find, try and be as honest as I can for you. Um, obviously no damage to the roof or the windscreen there, bonnet's looking pretty good as well, that's just a little bit of dust. I did go on a test drive yesterday so it is a little bit dirty. Looking pretty good through the rest of that bonnet though. Stunning blue, especially in the sunlight, looks so good. Same thing, no damage to the windscreen down this side either. Now obviously being the Max Sport, we've got these beautiful semi-charcoal wheels as well, the alloys there too. Uh, that one seems to be in really good condition. Uh, brand new tyres here for you too. You see little tyre indicators just there. And just in behind, looking very nice and tidy in the back there as well. It is a tiny little mark, I did just notice a little scratch there. I mean, very, very thin one, and a couple of little stone chips just along the uh, the front of that bar as well. Just on those common ones that you always seem to get at the front of these cars. Again, a couple of little stone chips and stuff there, a little mark, and a little one there too. Other than that, again, really nice and tidy along that front wheel on the passenger side here. Brand new tyres again once more. Exceptionally tidy back there too. Mirror's in good condition. Down the rest of the passenger's door here for you. Looking really good. Uh, inside the door cards here for you on the front. Obviously electric windows. Is some little marking in that. I'd say just somebody's watch or ring might have gotten caught a couple of times. Uh, really nice and tidy all through the inside though, through the dash. Got the passenger seat here as well. Right down through that interior the back seats and you get the height adjustment here as well so you can sit down and lift those seats right up as well or all the way back down depending if you're short like me or not uh, all your manuals books everything's all on the inside there too we got so full service history here as well so 2022 first service at 10,000 kilometers next one at 20,000 and halfway through 23 halfway through our uh, mid-year at uh, 30,000 41 at the start of 24 and then um, here in Cairns in September at our 51,000 kilometers too. So it won't be due until about 61,000 or April next year. So plenty of service history life left in that. That's good. Just down through the back, the roof's looking pretty good up there. No window tint on these, but that is all stuff we can do in-house for you. Little stone chip just there. Uh, child locks obviously in through all these back doors. Came pretty tidy through those door cards. Uh, Aircon vents all through the back. You obviously got the um, storage pockets there too. A little mark just there from people's like shoes jumping in and out, that sort of thing. We have argument separators here in the middle with all the cup holders there. USB ports all hidden in the back. Pretty cool feature that. We got the 60 40 split for these seats. So you simply drop those down. You got one, two, three child anchor points between all those. You got the little privacy shade in the back that does simply come out like that. But I'll show you how that works in just a second. Otherwise, we pop this straight back up. Nice and easy through there. Through the rest of the roof. You'll see fuel inlets on this side too. And again, really tight, nice and tidy through that rear wheel. Again, stacks of tread in there. All your parking sensors across the rear. 
couple of little luggage marks through the back. Not too bad though. Um, nice and tidy through the inside there. Obviously, what everything all working like that. Um, pretty cool with these seats. You actually got a little feature here, so you can actually pop these ones down. So from the back here as well, you can drop that down. So if you carry nice and big stuff, that all pops out there too. And same thing, you can drop all three down. So any bigger stuff, you can throw straight in, make it nice and easy from the back. All the tools and everything, jacks just under the corner there. So the spare tie there as well, so a little get home for you. Uh, tie down points in the corners. Now there is just the one key with this one at the moment, so we've got the central locking working perfectly there. And that one as well. Just down to the last little driver's wheel there for you. Again, really good condition. A little hairline mark just there, I just noticed. Again, really nice and tidy through the inside. A couple little marks just on that entry, the same thing as before. And like I said, you can obviously click these back up and down. Pretty good nick for the back seats. just down the rest of the driver's side here for you. Looking pretty good through there. Little stone ship just there. And finally just the uh, main door card here for you. Little tiny, very light little bit of wear there. I'd say just from people resting their hands in the most common area of the car. Uh, we've got obviously the uh, window controls. You can adjust those mirrors in and out for, uh, from the inside electronically. Your window locks, mirror controls all through there too. Uh, a couple of little faint little marks there from people's shoes again, just jumping in and out. Height adjustments, all that kind of stuff all through there for you too. Um, I'll just jump in and start him up as well. But you've got eye stop, so you can turn it on and off. Best thing about the Mazdas and the Toyotas, you can turn all this sort of stuff off if you don't like it. So eye stop's here, so if you come up to a set of traffic lights, come to a stop, um, the, the car will actually shut off. And then the second you release brake pressure, it'll turn back on, so it saves you fuel. If you don't like it, turn it off from there. Your lane departure, all your TCS, everything like that down there as well. Uh, fuel release, bonnet release, all from down there. And you gotta have your foot on the brake. If it's in far enough, it'll go green. You push that as long as the key's inside. Right, oh, so nearly a full tank of fuel in there as well. We got about probably just over three quarters there for you. Uh, you've got a bunch of different little menus and options and, and little stuff through the inside there that you can uh, navigate between. So you also got obviously the um, average fuels, how much fuel you got left, all the lane departure stuff, all the safety side of things, your range, everything like that, all controlled from this little button there as well. Uh, we've got the radio, like the volume controls, you can change between obviously your stations, and so if I hang up the phone calls from here, all up on the left hand side. Uh, right hand side, that's got all the cruise controls, so you'll gain some safety stuff there too. Uh, we do have some paddle shifts being the Max Sport, so you can go left side goes down the gears, right side goes up the gears, so you can actually control the gears yourself from up there once it's in the manual mode. Uh, we've got automatic settings for all the uh, wipers, which are all up on the left hand. And same thing, automatic settings for the right hand side for the uh, headlights there too. Otherwise, parkers, headlights, high beams, blinkers are all just like normal there too. Um, as we come over, you've got a nice little reverse camera tucked into the back. Uh, so you can physically see, obviously, the rear bar there too. So it um, makes it nice and easy for backing up to other cars and everything like that. Otherwise, you've got this beautiful little menu at the top there. We obviously got my Cyrus on the radio, uh, but all controlled as we see. So you can go between to the bottom. We can jump straight back to the home screen bring you to these little menus you can go communication apps or your uh, sat nav everything like that as well so you've got apple carplay android auto uh, bluetooth sat nav all in build uh, all ran through your phones as well as projection as you can see now all that stuff up there is controlled from down the bottom so you've got this little toggle where it clicks in and out and dials around so that was the controls i was just using your volume's all there you've got it shortcuts for your home your music your sat nav and to go back in the menus um, all from down there as well you can actually personalize that little favorites button there too Sports mode is just there for you. We've got a straight shift down to drive. You can go into manual mode to be able to change the gears from there yourself. Um, otherwise, like I said, you've got the paddle shifts to do that uh, so as well. Straight back into park, you've got obviously a handbrake here. So you've got to have your foot on the brake, push it down to release it, or uh, pull it back up again there too. You've got an automatic hold, which is pretty cool. It's basically a handbrake for while you're in drive. So really cool for like construction sites and things like that, where you're sitting at traffic lights for a period of time and you want to rest your foot. Um, you can basically have the car held in uh, drive without having to you know, stuff around putting into park and stuff like that as well. So uh, we've got heaps of USB ports, accessory plugs, everything all through the inside there too. Drop down uh, adjustable seat belts, drop down handles all the way around, including the driver's side. Uh, we've got the, obviously the, um, the speaker tweezers all through there. We've got lights, we've got the sunny holder, 
And same thing again on the driver's side there for you as well. And like I said, not too for another service, about 60,000 Ks. So and that's pretty much everything all on the inside here. I did pop that bonnet though, so I just want to quickly show you under there as well before we finish up. Very nice and clean all through the inside of that bonnet. You'll see a little two and a half litre sky motor for the four cylinder for these guys. A little battery in the corner. Uh, very nice and tidy all through the inside. You can see through the fluids. Very nice and clean through there. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. And then, so mate, thank you so much again for your inquiry. And uh, yeah, cannot wait to hear feedback soon.